Okay, so I I had a quick play with Google Earth Studio. So this is what it looks like. To gain access, you have to request it, but I got it pretty much within 12 hours of requesting it. Um, you have to sign in with your email. And I thought I would look for the Chrysler building. Now I went into this with more enthusiasm than preparation. so. This is quite a janky video, but the Chrysler building is like one of my favorite things in New York. So now when I first started it, I was just like, well, what the heck am I looking at? So I fiddled around with the altitude and radius and target altitude, that kind of thing, start heading. And you can choose whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise around the building. So what we're doing is a like a radius around the building. And then somehow in all my fiddling about, I lost it and I had to go looking for it and find it again. Um, my knowledge of the geography of New York is very hazy. Um, it's been a long time since I've visited. Um, and anyway, found it again. I kept losing it behind buildings and things. But anyway, once we found it, I wanted 50 seconds of the camera rotating around it. Now Google has compiled these using a lot of data from Google images, but also third party data. And my initial thought was that this would be really useful for authors who write about um, particular locations, you know, action thrillers, that kind of thing, or even romance, I suppose, um, where you want to make videos about your book. But it turns out that you can't use this for commercial purposes. There's a nice clear guide that tells you what you can do and what you can't. It embeds uh, a watermark that tells you that you got it from Google Earth Studio. And it does say you can't use it for commercial purposes. And technically, if you're making a video book trailer, that is a commercial purpose. But yeah. Anyway, so lots of fiddling about later, like I said went in with more enthusiasm and excitement than I did preparation. Lots of fiddling about later, I figured out this was the kind of view that I wanted. Now this looks really rough and ready, which is because it is. What you will get in a bit is you'll be prompted to, uh, once you click the green arrow, it'll ask you if you want to render it. And the render takes a while. But that data, because it's using uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of image data that it's got, it would be much better. This works better with famous monuments, famous landmarks um, than it does obscure ones because my husband was helping me with this. And he kept coming up with really obscure places and most of them look essentially like satellite data and a few pictures taken from ships because they're so obscure that the Google cameras haven't got very many pictures of them and they don't have very many other third party pictures of them. Okay. So this is roughly what I wanted to end up with. New York, present day, Chrysler building in the middle. Once I got to here, I could adjust how how wide I wanted my viewing window to be and stuff like that. I had no idea what I was doing at this point. I was just pushing buttons to see what happened. And then you hit render. And you can save it. Now you have the choice between saving it as an image sequence or as a video. I chose it as a video because I didn't just want a series of images. And you submit it to the cloud renderer, then you kind of have to wait till they tell you it's ready. I very daringly hit don't save. But the render, when it arrived, looked like this, which I thought was lovely. 
and the Chrysler building is still beautiful. I think if I do it again, I would make it spiral closer to the building. So yeah, so that's it. Google Earth Studio. Um, it's really exciting to play with, especially if you like to travel, and especially if you like to travel to big cities with big landmark buildings. Um, yeah, I don't really know how useful it will be for us, but let's see. I mean, I don't know how their licensing will work, but for now, they're quite happy for you to use it for um, non-commercial purposes. And your options are zoom to, orbit, spiral, and point to point. So you point to point, you can go from one building to another. So I think this one, I decided to have a look at the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. And to do a spiral down to it, just using the default. But you can adjust the settings, you can adjust the angle you come in at, you can adjust quite a lot actually, depending on what you want your video to show. It's quite cool. So Google Earth Studio, everyone. Very exciting.